Can we domesticate a wild animal just by selecting kindness? One man in Soviet Russia believed we could. Let me tell you how a 60-year Russian experiment changed science and rewrote science in the process. This isn't a dog, it's a domesticated fox. And scientists created it from scratch. In 1959, a Soviet geneticist named Dmitry Believ had one wild idea, literally. He believed that tameness wasn't just behavior, it was genetic, and he wanted to prove it. So he launched an experiment in Siberia to domesticate silver foxes from scratch. Here's how it worked. Every generation, the team selected only the calmest, friendliest foxes to breed. The ones that wagged tails, licked hands, or didn't run away. They ignored beauty or strength. Only behavior mattered. Only the friendliest 10% were allowed to reproduce. If a fox liked humans, it stayed. After just three generations, things got weird. Some pups wagged their tails like dogs. After 10 generations, their looks changed too. Floppy ears, shorter snouts, even spotted fur. These weren't just tame foxes. They were evolving right in front of scientists. The foxes began seeking human contact. They wanted cuddles, playtime, even belly rubs. They barked, whined, wagged tails, not out of fear, but joy. This wasn't training, it was instinct. Bred into their DNA, we watched evolution powered by emotion, not survival. Today, Russian domesticated foxes still exist, but they're rare, expensive, and not legal everywhere. They're playful, stubborn, loud, and need way more space than a dog. But they're also one of the greatest scientific breakthroughs in understanding domestication. This isn't just a fox, it's 60 years of science, thousands of choices, and the story of how kindness rewrote evolution.